in 1934 fermi developed a theory to explain the continuous beta ray spectrum and this theory is called neutrino theory of beta decay and so far we have studied that violation of spin violation of conservation of energy and momentum and here we can see that fermi concluded that here a uh, one particle is missing that is there is a missing particle and this missing particle is having very small mass that is here i already seen that the daughter and emitted particle mass is not equal to the mass of the parent nucleus that's why the missing particle is having a very small mass and here we have seen that it is having charge zero and proton is having charge plus one and neutron is having minus one charge so the missing particle is having it is a uncharged particle it is uncharged particle and okay we have also seen that there is some energy is missing and this this missing particle is having energy that is kinetic energy expected that is we have expected some kinetic energy this energy is equals to the energy of the parent nucleus but we have we have observed the kinetic energy we have observed energy which is less as compared to the what we have expected so this difference of energy gives us energy of the missing particle and one more thing it is having spin 1 by 2 that we have already seen and for me given this missing particle as a electron anti neutrino here we call this as a electron neutrino and this is electron anti neutrino here the missing particle is electron anti neutrino here also it is electron anti neutrino according to neutrino theory of beta decay a beta particle and a neutrino is created in the nucleus and both are emitted simultaneously and the total energy of these two particles is constant and which is equals to the end point energy and here the energy is shared by daughter nucleus and beta particle and anti neutrino here if electron carries maximum energy when energy of the neutrino is zero that is here if electron carries maximum energy then neutrino is going to carry zero energy in all other cases electron will carry an energy less than maximum or if the energy of the neutrino is maximum then the energy of the electron is going to be zero or and one more thing if the sum of energies carried by the electron and 
anti neutrino will always be the same and this energy shared by two particles in any proportion sometimes let us suppose 8 mev is maximum energy in some cases the energy of the electron is zero and energy of the neutrino is 8 mev or the energy of the electron is 8 mev and energy of the neutrino is zero or it may shared by 4 4 2 6 6 2 in any proportion the energy of the two particles is shared in any proportion and it explains the continuous beta ray spectrum so far we have discussed example for beta minus decay here i am going to take example for beta plus decay here carbon 10 6 gives boron 10 5 plus positron plus neutrino this is the example for beta plus decay here parent nucleus consists of 6 protons and 4 neutrons then after emitting beta plus decay the daughter nucleus consists of 5 protons and 5 neutrons here this carbon is unstable nucleus after emitting beta particle it becomes a stable nucleus here when carbon converted into boron after emitting beta particle a positron is emitted it is e plus is the positron and this is the neutrino this is the example for beta plus decay and here we can see nature of graph for beta plus decay is this is the intensity or number of beta particles per unit energy versus kinetic energy of beta particle beta particle the energy of the spectrum we get this is the kind of energy energy spectrum this is the maximum energy of the beta particle here we have seen that this is the spectrum for beta plus decay and we have also seen that energy spectrum for beta minus decay here I am going to plot both the graphs that is it is the intensity this is the kinetic energy of beta particles this is the spectrum for beta minus decay this is the spectrum for beta plus decay in beta minus decay the spectrum shifts towards the lower energy because of column attraction between daughter nucleus and emitted electron that is this is the parent nuclei which emits daughter nucleus plus beta particle here it is having positive charge and this electron is having a negative charge because of positive and negative charge there is attraction between daughter nucleus and a emitted beta particle that's why we are going to observe such type of graph and for beta plus decay we are going to observe that there is a shift of spectrum towards higher energy values it is because of repulsion between daughter and emitted beta particle here we can see that this is the parent nucleus which emits daughter nucleus plus positron and it is having positive charge and this emitted particle is also having positive charge due to positive charges they repel each other that's why we are going to observe the nature of graph like this and this is all about the nature of graph of beta ray spectrum.
ओके नाउ लेट अस सी सम जनरल एग्जांपल्स हियर इन बीटा माइनस डीके इन बीटा माइनस डीके न्यूट्रॉन इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट इनटू फ्रोटॉन प्लस इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एमिटेड एंड एंटी न्यूट्रिनो इज एमिटेड इन जनरल वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट बीटा माइनस डीके बाय एक्स ए जेड दिस इज द पेरेंट न्यूक्लियस एंड इट एमिट्स अ डॉटर न्यूक्लियस व्हिच इज हैविंग here a z number is increased by 1 plus electron plus neutrino it is when we take nucleus in general example and in beta plus dk proton is converted into neutron and a positron is emitted plus a electro neutrino is emitted in general i'm going to take a nucleus which is having a mass number a atomic number z which gives a daughter nucleus with mass number a atomic number z minus 1 because a proton is reduced that is proton is converted into neutron that's why we have denoted it as a z minus 1 plus e plus electron neutrino positron plus electron neutrino okay this is all about fermi theory of beta ray spectrum thank you